Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough of Sawyer's Medical Binder. Um, I'm doing this basically because I want to keep a record of my own of all of his medical um, records. And I know some people are going to say, well, doctor's offices do this electronically and yada yada yada. But recently there was a health insurance breach. And with hackers being able to get into stuff like that, I just don't feel comfortable with it. So I'd rather just keep a hard copy with me so if we're in the ER, we're out of state, anything, I have all of his records with me. So I'm going to quick go through this and show you guys what I have in here. Um, all of this is blank because I didn't want to do it after I put his personal information in here. So um, yes, I got this blue binder. It is um, a one inch, I can't remember the exact um, brand, but you can get them at Walmart, whatever, wherever you get your school or office supplies and then I got this um, title page off of Pinterest because I had looked up printables and this is the one that I found that I really really liked and you'll see inside some of the printables do have the same kind of theme as this and then some do not so let's just quick get started so in here I have my table of contents for all of my tabs and as you can see my tabs um, aren't sticking out like they're supposed to so I may get some new tabs but um for now, this is what I have. One thing I do want to mention is to make sure you get a binder with pockets. That way, if you need to file something later, you can just stick it in the pocket and you're good to go. Um, so, in each of the sections, let me zoom in, um, there is a purpose. So, number one is basic medical info, two is vaccinations and labs, three physicals, four medical conditions and surgeries, five is dental, six is medical literature, and seven is bills and insurance claims. So everything has a spot, and then um, if I need need an eighth spot, I have it. So um, let's just get started. So in the beginning, I have my um, note from my doctor about going down to 20 hours a week. I have this just in case something happens with my work where either they say they don't have it or they never received it. I have a copy here. Um, so then we have one which is basic medical info um, and in here I have his vital info which is his name, date of birth, social security number, um, blood type. I'm not going to put his primary doctor and doctor phone number because I do have a page for that a little bit later and same goes for dentist. So um, some of this won't be filled out but what needs to be filled out will be filled out. And then after that I have um, contacts and this is for his doctors. So um, any doctors that he may have, if he has any specialists or anything, all of their name, addresses, phone numbers, and everything will be in here. And then also, I have family contacts. So in case someone has this binder and needs to get a hold of some of our family, they have all of that information here. So um, that will be there. And then over here, I have family medical history. So we have... Um, my medical history, his dad's, and then like grandparents, um, great grandparents, and stuff like that. So if we're ever at the genetics or the genet genetics counselor, yeah, if we go to the genetics counselor ever again, I have all this information right here. And then last one is hospital visits. Um, I do want to keep a record if we have any visits of any kind, what they were for, the um, date, and then who he was seen by. So I have that information. So. Um, most of these I found on Pinterest, like I said, so I will be um, probably printing more of these out as needed, but this is what I have so far. And then number two was, I'm still trying to memorize these, vaccinations and labs. So when you open it here, I have a vaccination schedule of when he should have certain vaccinations, at what year, or what age, and all that stuff. And um, I color-coded it because I could have printed it in color, but I decided not to. So some of these are um, designated for catch-up time periods or catch-up periods for um, high-risk patients. But most of these will be, um, well, all of them should be given on time. And then once they are given, I will put little stickers saying the date that he got them. So whenever someone asks what date he got certain vaccinations, I have an answer. And then there's notes for this page. Oh, and this is from 2015. This is effective 2015, what the vaccination um, schedule should be. So then I attach the footnotes that I might need for that. So basically, um, this section, vaccinations and 
labs if he gets any blood work done or um, any of his shots all of that information will be in here and then number three is I still keep having to flip back and forth physicals okay so even though I will get the printouts from his pediatrician stating everything about his um, visits I still do want to keep um, his stats right here so his age the date that we went to his well checkup his height his weight and any notes that I have so it's just a quick um, glance at um, any of his checkups that he does have so we have that and then four is goodness gracious you think I would remember these medical conditions and surgeries which I don't have any printouts but oh I do this is the um, the thing for um, a gastroenterologist in case he has a cystic fibrosis the genetics place sent this to me just in case um, I need to find a gastroenterologist for him and this is a pediatric one so I have their information and um, how I can get a hold of them um, and then number five is dental of course he doesn't have anything in dental yet six is medical literature so I have my questions that I want to ask my pediatrician in here um, so I can bring this with me and I have my list um, ready to go. Um, and if you want me to do a questions I'm going to ask my pediatrician video, please let me know and I will do that. Um, I do plan on nursing, so I do have this breast milk storage guideline um, chart right here. So it tells me how long it'll last at room temperature, refrigerator, freezer compartment, freezer, and deep freezer. Um, and I think this is good to even have printed out for grandparents or anybody else who might be... Um, watching baby so I have that and then also um, information about his hepatitis B vaccine um, for when he's born and just a little information about that it doesn't hurt to do your research so um, I think this section the medical literature section is going to be filled up a lot with research that I do that I want to bring up to any doctors that he may have so um, we have that and then that's it for medical literature for now and then seven is just um, insurance information, which I do have some information about his card in here, so I won't show that. And then eight is blank. So that's what I have for right now. Um, mostly right now I'm going to be filling in the medical literature section because there's a lot of research that I need to do now um, before he gets here of things that I want done and different procedures and stuff like that. So that is what's in his medical binder now. Um... I wanted to show it now because once he's born, it'll start acquiring personal medical information for him. And I obviously won't be sharing that on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that is about it. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. I'll try to put all the links of the places that I got printouts. Um, and so you guys can get them if you want to make your own medical binder. So I think that is about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.